the James Webb Space Telescope has recently released a mind-boggling image that challenges our understanding of the universe. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the field of astronomy, as this innovative telescope captured two of the most ancient galaxies ever seen, defying our existing assumptions. This remarkable discovery, praised by Neil deGrasse Tyson, threatens to alter the laws of physics as we know them, leaving both scientists and stargazers in awe. Could our grasp of the cosmos be on the verge of shattering? How will this impact our understanding of the universe? Let's explore these questions in the vast and mysterious expanse of the cosmos. A profound enigma has long puzzled astronomers and physicists. This mystery centers on the crisis in cosmology, a subject dealing with contradictory models and measurements that challenge our understanding of the universe's fundamental existence. At the heart of this cosmic enigma lies the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of technology and astronomy poised to reveal breakthrough discoveries that could potentially transform our grasp of the cosmos. But what exactly is this crisis in cosmology, and how does the JWST fit into this vast celestial narrative? Neil deGrasse Tyson has raised the question, could the next revelation from the JWST be so fundamental that it shatters the very notion of physics as we know it? To answer this, we must first understand the context. For years, cosmologists have pieced together a detailed picture of the universe's evolution, from the fiery chaos of the Big Bang to the structured expanse of galaxies we see today. Central to this understanding is the standard model of cosmology, a framework that combines Einstein's general relativity with observations of cosmic processes. This model suggests a universe that formed roughly 13.8 billion years ago in a hot, dense state and has been expanding ever since. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, serves as a cornerstone of this model, providing a snapshot of the cosmos just 380,000 years after its origin. However, the universe's portrait painted by the standard model has been obscured by discrepancies in crucial data. One such discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, arises from conflicting estimates of the universe's expansion rate. Measurements based on the CMB, such as those conducted by the Planck satellite, show a slower rate of expansion compared to studies of distant supernovae and nearby galaxies. These opposing conclusions have led to a substantial difference in the calculated age of the universe, sparking debates and uncertainty among astronomers. But why does this matter? The rate of cosmic expansion is crucial to understanding everything from the universe's age to the origin of galaxies and the fate of the cosmos itself. Resolving this tension is not merely an academic exercise. It's a quest to comprehend the universe's essential nature. Now, amid the tranquil darkness of space, a new era of cosmic discovery has begun, heralded by the astonishing revelations of the James Webb Space Telescope. This enormous leap in astronomical technology is not just an upgrade. It is a paradigm shift, a groundbreaking journey that has generated excitement and astonishment across the scientific world and beyond. What makes the JWST not just another space telescope but a harbinger of a new understanding of the universe? The James Webb Space Telescope, widely regarded as the successor to the legendary Hubble Space Telescope, represents the pinnacle of modern astronomical technology. This behemoth of a space observatory, named after James E. Webb, the visionary NASA administrator who played a crucial role in the Apollo missions, was launched on December 25, 2021. It stands as the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, a culmination of decades of scientific genius and international collaboration. The JWST's primary mirror, spanning 6.5 meters in diameter, dwarfs that of Hubble's 2.4 meters allowing it to collect more light and detect fainter objects far deeper in the universe. But why is this added capability so revolutionary? The key to the JWST's unparalleled brilliance lies in its ability to view the universe predominantly in the infrared range. Unlike Hubble, which viewed mostly visible and ultraviolet light, the JWST's focus on infrared allows it to see past cosmic dust clouds and gaze into the most distant and ancient regions of the cosmos. Infrared observation is crucial in cosmology because it allows astronomers to examine the universe's earliest stages, a time when the first stars and galaxies were born. As the cosmos expands, light from distant objects is stretched or redshifted further toward the infrared portion of the spectrum. 
The JWST's powerful instruments are perfectly designed to detect this stretched light, making it an unmatched tool in the quest to understand the universe's infancy. Now, the JWST has revealed some of the most distant galaxies ever observed, dating back to around 13.47 billion years ago. The formation of such mature, well-formed galaxies at such an early stage in the universe's history raises important questions. How did they form so quickly? What factors were at play in the universe's embryonic years that led to such rapid galaxy formation? The implications of the JWST's discoveries are far-reaching. They force us to re-examine our theories and models about the universe's evolution. Among these revelations, one of the most striking is the chemical simplicity found in the ancient galaxies studied by the James Webb Space Telescope. This discovery takes us back in time to an era when the universe was still in its infancy, offering a rare glimpse into the elemental makeup of the early cosmos. But what does the pristine chemical composition of these early galaxies tell us about the universe's earliest chapters? And why is this finding so crucial in our quest to understand cosmic history? In the field of cosmology, the chemical composition of galaxies is a vital indicator of their age and the events that shape them. The JWST, with its unique ability to study distant galaxies, has revealed that the earliest galaxies are primarily composed of the simplest elements, hydrogen and helium. This discovery aligns with the expectations of the Big Bang Theory, which suggests that the early universe was filled with a hot, dense plasma of these two elements. However, heavier atoms, collectively known as metals in astronomical terms, were absent in this primordial mix. These elements, which include carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and iron, are created in the cores of stars and dispersed into the cosmos by supernova explosions. The scarcity of these heavy elements in the ancient galaxies discovered by the JWST provides critical insights into early supernova activity and star formation. It suggests that these galaxies are so ancient that they existed before or during the age of the earliest generations of stars known as Population 3 stars. These stars, predicted to be massive, hot, and short-lived, were responsible for forging the first heavy elements and seeding the universe with the ingredients necessary for the formation of subsequent generations of stars and planets. However, their existence has proven elusive, with no confirmed observations to date. The lack of heavy elements also offers a unique glimpse into the nature of early supernovae. In the life cycle of a star, Supernova explosions are the cataclysmic events that mark the end of a massive star's life and are responsible for dispersing heavy elements into the surrounding space. The pristine composition of the early galaxies suggests that either supernovae had not yet occurred in significant numbers or that their remnants had not yet fully interacted with the interstellar medium. This finding challenges our current understanding of galaxy evolution and star formation, revealing that these processes may have unfolded differently in the early universe. But why is this insight so groundbreaking? The composition of these early galaxies provides a physical link to the universe's primordial past, a time capsule offering clues about the conditions that prevailed just after the Big Bang. It allows us to peer into an era that has remained shrouded in mystery, offering a glimpse into the processes that set the stage for the cosmic drama that unfolded over billions of years. It is a revelation that not only deepens our understanding of the early cosmos, but also challenges us to rethink the story of cosmic evolution. Each discovery brings us closer to answering some of the most fundamental questions about the universe. How did the earliest galaxies form? What were the conditions that led to the formation of the first stars? And how did the universe evolve from a state of fundamental simplicity to the complex, star-studded tapestry we see today? There are many more ways in which the James Webb Space Telescope has transformed our understanding of the universe's vastness. The discovery of a filamentary structure of 10 galaxies by the JWST invites us to explore the intricate network that makes up the large-scale structure of the cosmos, the cosmic web. This term conjures images of a vast interconnected network, a giant tapestry woven across the fabric of space-time. But what is the cosmic web? and why is its discovery sending shockwaves through the scientific community? The concept of the cosmic web is not new. For decades, astronomers have theorized that galaxies are not randomly scattered throughout the universe, but are part of a massive interconnected structure. This web consists of vast thread-like filaments composed of dark matter along which galaxies and galaxy clusters are strung like beads. 
These strands are interspersed with vast voids, forming a structure that resembles a cosmic spiderweb. The idea is that this large-scale structure emerged from tiny quantum fluctuations in the very early universe. Over billions of years, these fluctuations grew under the influence of gravity, forming the first dark matter halos, which then acted as the scaffolding for galaxy formation. The cosmic web is the largest known structure in the universe, spanning billions of light years and containing billions of galaxies. However, observing the cosmic web has always been a significant challenge. The distances involved are staggering, and the structures are faint and diffuse. However, the James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled sensitivity and ability to peer deep into the cosmos, has made a breakthrough. The detection of a filamentary structure of 10 galaxies by the JWST marks the first time we have directly observed a part of the cosmic web at such an early stage in the universe's history. The discovery of this filamentary structure, dating back to just 830 million years after the Big Bang, is particularly remarkable. It provides a direct observation of the cosmic web's formation and evolution during the universe's infancy. This discovery could answer crucial questions about the nature of dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe's mass but has yet to be directly detected. Dark matter is believed to play a crucial role in the formation of the cosmic web, providing the gravitational pull necessary to form these large-scale structures. Furthermore, the discovery of the filamentary structure of ten galaxies could offer insights into the conditions that led to the formation of the first stars and galaxies. By studying these structures, astronomers can better understand the processes that drove cosmic evolution and shaped the universe as we know it today. The discovery of the filamentary structure by the JWST is a watershed moment in our understanding of the universe. It confirms the existence of the cosmic web and provides a glimpse into the universe's earliest stages, offering new insights into the fundamental processes that have shaped the cosmos. It forces us to rethink our theories about galaxy formation, dark matter, and the large-scale structure of the universe. It opens new avenues of exploration, promising to unravel some of the most profound mysteries of the cosmos. As we continue to explore the universe with the James Webb Space Telescope, we can expect more revelations that will challenge our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The recent findings of the James Webb Space Telescope challenge our understanding of the universe demanding a re-examination of existing cosmological models. As we grapple with these revelations, it's clear the universe remains full of surprises and our journey to understand it is far from over. The JWST is not just a tool for observation but a harbinger of a new era of discovery. As we stand on the brink of a potential paradigm shift in cosmology, the question remains, how will these discoveries reshape our understanding of the universe and what new mysteries will they reveal? As we continue to explore the cosmos with the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, new dimensions of our universe are coming into focus, revealing profound insights that extend beyond our previous understanding. One particularly intriguing aspect of the JWST's findings is its ability to probe the reionization epoch, a pivotal period in cosmic history when the first stars and galaxies began to ionize the hydrogen gas that filled the universe. This epoch, which occurred roughly 13 billion years ago, marks the transition from a universe dominated by neutral hydrogen to one filled with ionized plasma. Understanding this period is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, the reionization epoch sheds light on the formation and evolution of the first luminous objects. By examining the light from these early stars and galaxies, Astronomers can glean information about their properties and the impact they had on their surroundings. The JWST's advanced infrared capabilities allow it to detect the faint and distant signals from these primordial sources, which are otherwise obscured by intervening cosmic dust and gas. Additionally, the study of reionization helps us understand the large-scale structure of the universe. During this epoch, the ionization fronts from the first stars and galaxies propagated through the intergalactic medium, creating a complex web of ionized regions. Observing these features can provide valuable clues about the distribution of matter in the early universe and the formation of the cosmic web. Another exciting aspect of the JWST's discoveries relates to the study of exoplanets, particularly those in the habitable zones of their host stars. 
The telescope's spectroscopic capabilities enable it to analyze the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, detecting the presence of key molecules such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide. This information is vital for assessing the potential habitability of these worlds and understanding their atmospheric compositions. The ability to detect and analyze biosignatures or signs of potential life is one of the most anticipated features of the JWST. The telescope has also provided insights into the formation of supermassive black holes, which are thought to play a critical role in the evolution of galaxies. Observations of these black holes in their early stages can help astronomers understand how they grew and influenced their host galaxies over time. By studying the interactions between supermassive black holes and their environments, researchers can gain a deeper understanding of the mechanisms driving galaxy formation and evolution. Moreover, the JWST's observations have the potential to revolutionize our understanding of dark energy the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. By examining distant supernovae and galaxy clusters, the telescope can provide more precise measurements of the universe's expansion rate and the nature of dark energy. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope is pushing the boundaries of our knowledge in multiple areas of astronomy and cosmology. Its ability to observe the earliest galaxies, study cosmic reionization, analyze exoplanet atmospheres, and investigate supermassive black holes positions it as a transformative tool in our quest to understand the universe. As the JWST continues its mission, it promises to uncover even more revelations, challenging our existing theories and expanding our understanding of the cosmos in ways we can only begin to imagine.